Yesterday was a rough one. <laughs> we went out on, well, yesterday was Saturday, so on Friday night we went out. Had so much fun, but we had gone tequila tasting first, as I'm sure you'll know by now. And, and it was fine. Like, I was feeling a little tipsy, but after eating, I was totally fine. The tastings, like, were, like, tiny little shots, even though we did have quite a bit. It, it wasn't like I was feeling, you know, super tipsy or anything. Anyways, we came back home, kind of regrouped, changed. And hours later, we went out on the town. And I had, I just drank too much, <laughs> is what I'm getting to. I had two margaritas, but the second one was like a large and it was giant. And even though my sister was pressuring me, telling me like, you were not leaving until you finish it. I should have just left well enough alone and like I had drank only half of it at first and then I finished it. Well, I woke up yesterday morning like at 5 a.m. just not feeling good at all and sorry I keep rubbing my eyes I just woke up but I woke up not feeling good and I sorry if this is TMI but I just wound up throwing up and waking up an hour later and doing it again. And so I woke up yesterday to go on this tour. It was what we were the most excited to do, was to go to um, these special islands in the middle. It's like just a beautiful paradise within a paradise. So of course my sister was telling me, we don't have to go if you don't feel good. But I just didn't want to take that away from her. At some point in the morning, as we're still trying to decide if we're going to go or not, I wound up getting sick one more time. And after that, I felt like whatever was messing up my stomach was gone because I just felt okay. I felt weak, but I was okay. I was like, let's go. Let's just go. Who knows when the last time we're going to be here is, and we really want to do this. So we went. By the time we were buying the tickets, I was already not feeling good again. So we tried to exchange them for a different day, but they told us we could still take that boat tour, but it doesn't stop in these islands, which is the thing. Because they were doing snorkeling, and it was like all these things that we were gonna be doing. Uh, they had like five activities that you can do all of, or just some of them, or you know, her and I had decided we were gonna do as much as possible. Uh, but that was like the one thing that it's, it's like you have to swim through a cave like It's crazy. You have to swim out and then when you swim through these caves There's like a couple entrances that you have to swim through at one point I had to sw swim underwater and come out the other side But on the other side it, well you guys will see is this a beautiful like little tiny private island that it has like a it's like a dome shape, it's a circle, and it's open on the outside. And you're not allowed to climb up there, only, um, what are they called? I, f I forget the name of people that, that study the earth and things like that. They're allowed up, up there, but you can't climb up there, but you can go into this beach and only a certain amount of people are allowed at a time. And only a certain amount of people are allowed a year even. So, I mean, it's such a, privilege to even be be able to do this so we're like let's just do it let's let's get on there so we did we went they they served breakfast and lunch so by the time breakfast was served i was just not feeling good the the boat was rocky it was probably the rockiest boat i've ever been on my whole life and you can imagine with how i was feeling like it just did not help I wasn't able to eat much, so I had just had pineapple. It all wound up coming back up. The boat was so rocky that probably like an hour in, then my little sister starts feeling sick also. She winds up going to the back of the boat and she just hangs out at the back of the boat with her little 
barf bag to for lack of a better term and um, after I got sick that time I went back to the front of the boat I laid down on the floor of this boat I had no energy I could not even like sit up it, I felt so I just felt bad I can't remember the last time I had felt that sick and then the boat was supposed to come back by five it was an all-day thing we were we knew that it, you know with the snorkeling and everything but this boat kept breaking down which is why it was so rocky because it was just it wasn't moving it was just sitting with the waves and feeling the way I was feeling it was the absolute worst scenario we didn't wind up getting back until eight so we were on that boat for like 12 hours as the activities they started getting to the, you know everyone who's doing snorkeling everyone's who I didn't have the energy to do anything and I didn't even know I I was at that point thinking I was gonna be on this boat all day and not even get to see what I went to see so the islands are called Marietta I think and that they're also known as like it's like lovers beach in Spanish like uh, Playa de Amor so anyways that was the one thing that I really wanted to do and at this point I'm like I don't know that I'm gonna have the energy to even swim and it's like it's an intense swim it's not like a normal you're swimming against the current and yeah there were times when you swim that you are not moving because the water just is pushing you the opposite direction anyways so I wake up at some point I mean I wasn't like sound asleep but i was resting and i get up and there's like five more people around me laying down also not feeling good so it wasn't just my hangover it was definitely the boat was extremely rocky there were people dropping like flies and my my sister also at this point had come back to lay down near me they call out like it really got down to the wire my sister and i are deciding if we're gonna attempt this. But we, you know, we have life jackets and there's people that are going with us that are professionals. So we're like, if we can't do it, you know, they'll rescue us. It's not like a life or death thing. So we're like, screw it. Like we felt miserable all day. We might as well do this. Otherwise we'll have suffered through this the whole day and not even done anything. That The idea of that was a lot worse than the idea of having to go and power through and both of us had no energy. We had, our stomachs were both completely empty by this point. We were trying to stay hydrated and just keep even water down at this point, but we went and I'm so glad we did. As soon as we get in the boat and start like, the, it's a little speed boat that takes you near the area that you have to jump off the boat to swim into this place. The fresh air like started, I'm like, okay, like I'm, I'm coming back a little bit and then I don't know something about being in the water actually like I'm not gonna say I was like super energetic because I definitely was not but I was able to enjoy the experience well actually we we're both able to enjoy it because the same thing happened with my sister I really do think it was that rocky boat that well I know because we I'll share you know all the clips I didn't get as much I'm I was so sick I couldn't I couldn't even think straight so I got some pictures I got some footage but not nearly as much as I would have had I been feeling better but I'll share those here with you we got back and it was all over again it was probably like 30 minutes in and that boat kept breaking down on the way back it was it was a rough one uh, they the crew members were doing everything they can and I appreciate it to entertain us they were doing dancing contests they were doing guys against girls like other kinds of contests and all kinds of fun stuff but of course there was a handful of us that couldn't even participate because we were so sick by this time yeah it wasn't just my sister and I there were other people feeling super sick uh, so anyways we got back yesterday and just knocked out we got some saltine crackers, some ginger ale, some Pedialyte, and some apples, and I made some applesauce. Uh, that's basically gonna be what we're gonna be eating 
for now. We'll see how we're doing. I woke up feeling a lot more rested. I, we crashed. We got back, showered, and ate that. And I think I was in bed by like 10. And I woke up now, oh, I don't have my watch on. But I woke up like at seven and then got up at like eight. I'm feeling a lot better now. So hopefully we could enjoy today's our last day. We leave actually tonight, but hopefully we could do something. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> if you're ever gonna go on a boat, I highly, highly suggest not drinking the day before, even though I really think it was just a combination of having, doing the tequila tour during the day, because, you know, my drinks were big, but I had two of them, and I could definitely, you know, function well and not even feel a thing, and I usually don't get hungover either. That was another weird thing, which is why my sister was pressuring me, because that doesn't ever happen to me. But yeah, I just thought I would come on here since yesterday was a blur. I think I posted two little clips on my Instagram, but the thing I did was magnificent. And that time that I was off of the main boat, I felt good. I mean, I was super low energy. I felt like, well, because I didn't have anything in my stomach, so I could definitely feel that fatigue, but it was beautiful, and I was still able to really enjoy it, and so was my sister, so highly recommend this. I heard, too, that the government's talking about shutting it down to where people wouldn't be able to go there at all, uh, so if you guys are planning a trip to Puerto Vallarta, I feel like it is definitely the thing to do find out exactly what boat you're going on though <laughs> i don't know if you could like you know find out if it breaks down or not i don't know if it was just you know our luck i don't know i don't know if if it's something that happens with all the boats uh i don't know if we would have felt okay had we not drank the night before but regardless like all in all on the chance that it was just us uh, I do recommend seeing these islands. It's just, it's a stunning thing. So yeah, I will insert what I did capture of that here. Uh, and I think I've rambled on and on, so I'll let you guys just watch it. <laughs>
right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video i know <laughs> it was just me uh telling you guys how sick i was but uh i hope that you still got to see one of the like most beautiful places that i've ever witnessed bye